everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Today I am here with you with the Creating Kindness Design Team and this is our monthly hop. This month our theme is birthdays, which is perfect for me as February is a very busy birthday month for my family. I have my son's birthday, two nephews and a niece all having birthdays in the month of February. And so today's card is created with the uh, Best Catch stamp set and framelits dies that are a bundle in the occasions catalog. And I don't know if the camera is going to catch that. I have a bit of Wink of Stella on the uh, fins and a bit on the body on the fish. Uh, both of my nephews are very big into fishing and their birthdays come first so I am going to uh, create this card with you today. So to get started I am going to bring in my silicone craft sheet and my um, cattails and uh, greenery or whatever that is called. Uh, it is from the Catch of the Day Then Let's Dies that coordinate with the Best Catch stamp set. There is no coordinating stamp with this so I am going to just um, watercolor the uh, greenery in the following colors. I have Pear, soft sea foam, pear pizzazz, garden green, and mossy meadow. Now, I have already gone ahead and colored two of them. And with water coloring, every time you water color, it's going to look a little different. But I brought in all of those colors so that it would uh, have a more natural kind of look. Not all one solid color because it, I don't have... A coordinating stamp so I'm bringing in my aqua painter and my ink pads and I'm just squeezing the lid to collect the ink and I am just adding some water I'm just going to go over the entire die cut image I'm using the watercolor paper that is found in the Stampin Up annual catalog and I'm just giving this a light base coat with the soft sea foam. Just going over so that I've got a base color there, not the vanilla of the, the uh, watercolor paper. So next I'm going to bring in my pear pizzazz. And do the same thing and I'm just going to bring it here and there I am in no means a watercoloring specialist I just do what I like play around with it I encourage you to do the same when it is a handmade card, when you're creating yourself, there's no right or wrong. As long as you are enjoying it, and I can guarantee the recipient of your card is going to love it. And I'm not using a whole lot of water, so that way it... Um, doesn't take too awful long to dry in between layers. If I had more time, I would definitely um, let it fully dry and be a little bit more deliberate. But, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just adding some color here and there. And 
as you can see, I am fairly light-handed with it. I am just giving it don't want it to look like it's one solid color other than maybe towards the bottom I'm imagining it the grasses in that around the lake being multicolored as the Sun is hitting it I want maybe a bit more dark this is my garden green. And then finally, I am going to bring in the darkest of my greens, my mossy meadow, to add that deep green color to it. Now there are other design team members that have created videos. Please click on the links below to uh, see what everybody else has created for this month's hop. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you do not miss any future videos that I have. All of the measurements will be posted on my blog, www.stampinwithmarcy.com, as well as links for purchasing. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and just give a few more darker definition lines. That would be where the leaves are intersecting with each other. So it's not looking like it's one solid mass, blob, whatever you will. Just coming in to lighten that look up a just a smidge with just some water there. Okay, and now I'm going to set these aside and bring in my soft suede to create the cattail heads. So First, I'm going to take the very diluted and color the entire cattail head. And then I'm going to come in with the darker that hasn't been diluted down and just go on the side. like that and there my cattail is now colored so next up I'm going to color my fish. I'm going to set this aside and I've already stamped my fish as I'm watercoloring so I'm using stays on ink with my um, ink pads so I wanted to make sure that that was as dry as possible so it didn't smear. So my fish colors are quite the blend as well. My fish colors are Soft Sea Foam, Sahara Sand, Pool Party, and So Saffron. 
So I'm going to go over the entire fish. I have no idea what kind of fish this is. I am not a fisherman. I don't know my fish species. So I just thought, well, they kind of have that yellowy body look, don't they? You can make your fish any color you want. It's your fish. So I'm just going to quickly go over the entire image. with my so saffron Okay, I've got a cloth off to the side. <clears throat> so next I'm gonna come in with my soft sea foam and add a bit of green to that in some areas, like along here, along the belly. And then just blending that out so that it isn't harsh. Bringing some into the fins. And up here around the mouth. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've got a tickle. Okay, next I'm going to bring in my Sahara sand and I'm going to go over this area right here. Darken that up a little bit. And I'm not being too awful, awful particular about it. I just want to get that little bit of brown coat on in there. Just where okay and next I'm gonna come in with some pool party and I want to add a bit more in here that out. I'm really layering these colors on to really give it more depth. This stamp set really is a great one for the guys in your life that maybe enjoy the outdoors and this type of hobby. I know my brother-in-law and my nephew are out right now ice fishing. 
then I'm just going to come right here and just a bit darker right there. Okay. I think, I think that's good. Okay, so now I am going to take my die, move this to the side, and bring in my Big Shot. Place this down on Then I'm going to line this up. And as you can see, it's cut that, the fin here and the fin here. So now I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm gonna, from behind, I'm gonna hold that edge and just gently curl that up, both of those fins that are cut. So just like that. All right, I'm now gonna set that aside and I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus. And my, put this to the side, put that in camera view for you. My Stamparatus and my Crackle Paint large background stamp. And my layer here. And then I'm going to set that over top like that. Close my hinge. Carefully lift up so that I don't move that um, cardstock. And then I'm going to ink up my stamp. And I'm doing this off camera, I see. So let's just scoot you over just a bit. Because I want it to be very, very, as you can see, I want it to be very subtle. So I'm taking a scratch piece of paper and I am taking off a layer of that ink so that way it's not going to be, you can see how dark that would be. So I've taken off some of the ink. I'm breathing on it to re-moisten it just a little bit. And then I am pressing down. There we go. Perfect. Let's just flip that over. I like to pull my sleeve down to help my hand slide smoother. There. Okay, so that's that nice light look. So I'm just going to close that. Move that off to the side. Bring in my It's Your Day stamp and the Mossy Meadow ink. I always like to flip that over to take a look to make sure I've got enough ink on my stamp. There we go. Close that up. And I'm going to come in with my one inch circle punch, punch that out. I 
Okay, now it is time to assemble the card. I have die cut a slightly larger piece with my layering circles framelits dies ahead of time. I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet. A little bit of adhesive there. Okay, set that aside. Using my bone folder to really burnish that crease. Okay, now I'm going to take a look and see where I need to snip this off because I don't want that hanging over. So that's going to be good. I need to just snip that just a smidge more. All right. And I don't want to put adhesive all the way up. I want my cattails to be loose and coming off the page slightly. Okay, so there's the first one glued down. And then I'm going to come over just a bit. I'm going to see how that looks. I think I want this one here on top. And these back, they've curled slightly. Okay, so. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap. And then I will fill it with this third one. go. Now I have taken apart some linen thread and for this one here because I didn't want it quite as thick so I'm going to take my snail adhesive and This is how I like to attach any ribbon or twine. Put a little bit of snail adhesive on the back. Wrap it around my fingers. And then manipulate it to the shape that I want. Flip it over to see. And then I just have to tuck my tails because I don't want them sticking out. Take a dimensional and I know I'm going to want that just over here slightly. Just like that. And then my fish here needs some dimensionals. I'm going to use three. And he 
is going to go right there. And now I've got some sequins here. I thought that these kind of looked a bit like um, fish scales. So I'm going to attach them to my card front here as well. And I find that they don't, even though they're adhesive back, they don't always like to stick. So I want to make sure that they're not going to fall off. So I'm taking some liquid glue and putting it where I'm going to put my sequins. So that way I know that they are not going to fall off when the recipient opens the card. And then my last thing is to take my Wink Stella and just go over the fins. And the eye. There we have it. And there is my card. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by today. I truly do appreciate it. Remember to uh, go on over to my blog to get all of the measurements for today's card as well as the purchasing links. And uh, click on the all of the links below and on my blog to see what all of the other team members have created for this month's hop. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.